What's up guys, very cool on here with another video for you and today we're going to be talking about an old headphone. This headphone is almost 10 years old if you think about it by now. Uh, this is the Sennheiser HD800, the original, not the S because these look better than the S's. Sorry about that. These are four things I love about these headphones. Let's get started. So point number one is the design. If you can see these headphones, the design is incredible the engineers over there at Sennheiser did a great job I mean they're German of course they would do a great job have you seen the BMW's Mercedes and Audi's they're better than any other car so of course these will look amazing the angles the the light around the headphone when you put it in certain uh, spots if that even makes sense the little honeycomb shaped driver right here the choice of materials actually as well and it's all nice and just nice and perforated uh, it just looks amazing honestly it looks big on your head but it looks futuristic it looks something like doesn't belong in this world it doesn't look like a traditional set of Beats headphones um, so I applaud them for that point number two is gonna be the sound the sound on these headphones is actually amazing it's you know, Tao from Inner Fidelity and some other people. Uh, they call it the best headphone in the world. It's arguably the best headphone in the world because of the soundstage and the imaging. Soundstage is super wide since the uh, the cups are very wide, very open. They cover your whole, your whole ear so you can actually like pinpoint where the instruments are very clearly. You can also uh, and you, you can imagine that it's an open stage, not something closed in that's in your head. It sounds a little bit more out of your head, especially with some great songs. Uh, so that is probably why the sound stage and the imaging is why the headphones sound really good. Also the clarity, it's maybe the clearest headphone out there next to the electrostatic headphones. It's, it's arguably the best. The third point of why I love these headphones is the price. If you don't know, these headphones retailed for $1,500 brand new. Even though that was expensive compared to now, they're actually really cheap for what you're getting. But now, a few years later, these things go on HeadFi, on eBay for about six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars $800. Not that expensive anymore. Basically half, more than half the price in some cases. You're getting a quality headphone, you're getting something amazing, you're getting something that's world renowned. Nothing can beat that value. I suggest you go and get them because, I mean, they're a great value. These need to be shown off more. There needs to be more coverage on this because uh, even though they're discontinued, it's still one of the greats in the world. The fourth thing that I love about these headphones is the comfort. Uh, so there was a rumor back then that these pads were going to be Alcantara, which is found in like the Lamborghini's uh, interior, but last minute they changed it for some reason to these just regular velour or I don't know, very soft microfiber pads. So I mean they're really soft, they're really nice, they fit on your head, really nice and snug when you put them on. Really nice, really tight, but not too tight. They let your ears, your ears breathe so they don't get hot or sweaty. Um, it doesn't feel like your head's getting clamped. The material is great. Very comfortable. You can watch a movie. You can listen to music for hours uh, without getting uh, uncomfortable, which you know I recommend. Not for hours, because you know you might blow an eardrum or two, but. Yeah, these are actually actually pretty great in the comfort zone as well. Just don't try taking them on the subway. And that was four reasons why I love the uh, Sennheiser HD 100. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like the channel. See you later.